Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Set Effects, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use our natural um, news studio background. Um, this background can be used in any kind of green screen, blue screen, chroma key video production. Um, our backgrounds are all in QuickTime format, and so they can be used in just about any video editor that can do uh, chroma, chroma key and green screen production. So uh, Final Cut, um, Premiere Pro, which is what I'm using here, uh, Premiere Elements, uh, Sony Vegas, Sony Movie Studio, um, and a number of, the, of others. Um, so just about anything that can import a QuickTime movie, um, you can use our backgrounds for, uh, for your video production. Um, so basically uh, what we have here is we've got a, uh, our talent footage on the uh, top layer, um, and then we have a studio layer with a little animated monitor that comes down and uh, a piece of B-roll footage that shows up in this little screen right there. Um, this particular studio uh, has about, uh, let's see, about 11 or 12 uh, uh, animations that come in this, uh, in this studio. And you can kind of see here in my, uh, my viewer here that uh, we've got a bunch of different um, uh, layouts of the animations and that kind of thing. So we have you know, center, center animated monitors and uh, monitors that come down to the right and the left. And then we also have a, um, uh, a version of the background that doesn't have these little hanging lights and that kind of thing. Um, so you can kind of use the backgrounds in a variety of ways. Um, so first, let me start off by just deleting everything I have here so you can kind of see what I do uh, from scratch. So in Premiere, we basically just open uh, a new project and uh, we're gonna select all these files and import them into the, uh, into the project. And you'll see that they show up right down in there. Um, the, uh, the file that I think I'm gonna work with right now is this left animated monitor uh, version right there. So in Premiere, you can just click and drag, drag it down to your timeline or drag it, uh, or make a new sequence right there. And that will make a new sequence. Uh, oops, I dragged all of them. Um, let's see if we can try that again. So we got the one file that we're bringing down. There we go. Um, okay, so if I play through, you can kind of see that we've got this little animated monitor that comes down, uh, kind of fades to a green screen. We've got a little bit of um, um, motion going on on these lights in the background and that kind of thing. And so the main um, uh, setup for these files, which basically works, uh, the workflow works with any kind of um, video editor, um, and that is to put the uh, the talent layer um, on top. So your talent or your presenter is shot on a green screen. Um, that goes on top. Um, the second layer is your studio layer, and so I'm going to move that up to the second layer. And this bottom layer right there is the one that shows your uh, B-roll footage and that kind of thing. So let me um, import my uh, talent footage right there. And then I'm just going to import a little piece of footage that we can use for our B-roll right there. And so the next step is to drag your talent um, or presenter footage onto the top layer so that we see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, drag my B-roll footage down to this bottom layer right there underneath everything else. And then uh, I'm actually going to delete this audio uh, track here so we don't get confused. So I'm just going to right click, click on Link in Premiere, and then delete out the um, audio layer. Um, so first thing we need to do, obviously, is to remove this green screen from uh, our footage here. And in Premiere, at least, um, we're going to apply a chroma key effect. And that should be pretty much universal across just about any video editor. Um, in Premiere, there is a window for effects. You can go Window, Effects. And uh, if you do, uh, you can go to Video Effects. And then there's a folder for keying right there that you can go and grab all your, all your effects. Uh, another quick way to, uh, to get to certain effects is to use this little search bar right here. And I like to use it to uh, find effects really quickly. And so I'll just type in K-E-Y for key. And you'll see that it comes up with a bunch of different, different keying options. Um, there's a number of keying options in Premiere. Um, it does ship with a, uh, a keyer called Ultra Key. And I do like that one uh, because it tends to do a pretty good job of uh, removing the green screen from the shot. So if you uh, click and drag and drop that onto our talent layer footage, then in the effects controls window, um, you'll see there's a line item there for ultra key. And what we're going to do is click the eyedropper and then uh, sample the green in the background um, of, our scene, of our scene there. And it basically takes that green and then it, the computer software uh, removes uh, any instance of that green in the scene. Um, you can go through all these different uh, settings right here to kind of clean up your uh, your um, 
your key. Um, but uh, I found also that there's a little drop down right here where you can uh, do a relaxed key or an aggressive key, which just takes out a little bit more of the uh, green screen. And uh, the aggressive tends to work pretty good, but then you can kind of fine tune it um, to make it work for your scene. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna do is um, take the green out of the uh, monitor area right there. And so we'll do the same thing. So we'll come over here to key, uh, use ultra key, drag it onto your uh, studio layer right there, click the eyedropper, click the uh, green in the screen and sample that and uh, it comes out pretty cleanly there. Um, so now we need to uh, move and position this b-roll footage into the monitor area there and so if you select the footage come over to motion in the uh, effects controls area and you can scale down and position that clip wherever you need it. Just like that. Um, and then what we're also going to do <clears throat> since this is kind of a angled monitor like that. Uh, we're gonna apply a little 3D effect just to give us a little bit of uh, swivel um, so that we can kind of match this angle just a little better um, in the scene. So if we come over to the effects window and type in 3D for 3D effect, uh, there is an effect called Basic 3D in Premiere. And you just uh, click that, drag it onto the B-roll, and then in your effects controls area, you can adjust your swivel and tilt to kind of yeah, just more or less match it up. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because the edges of the screen are actually gonna kind of um, mask that a bit, uh, but we can get it a little bit more uh, closer on the angle there, like that. There. And so now you can see we've got our, uh, we've got our presenter and, uh, and the animated monitor comes down and then we have a little piece of footage that can show up right there. Um, this is a good, you know, basic workflow for using um, these backgrounds. You can do uh, a couple other little tweaks that you can do. Um, you can uh, move and position your talent. So if you select your talent, um, once you have them cut out from the green screen, you can kind of move them around in the scene if you need to. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, is that if you um, if you have a longer um, piece and you're wanting to have a bunch of uh, B-roll or graphics or animations or anything like that show up in this monitor area. Um, a good way to do that is to uh, make all of your um, uh, B-roll footage be one sequence. So basically what we would do is we would set up a new sequence like that and then we'd call this one B-roll sequence. And now we would just drag our, uh, drag our footage and uh, any kind of you know, graphics or whatever um, into this. A lot of times I'll bring just the audio from the uh, presenter and cut all of my, my B-roll, um, you know, fades and add in fades and that kind of thing, um, all on this uh, B-roll sequence timeline. And then on your main timeline, you can delete this one out and then bring your B-roll sequence timeline down onto the, um, onto the timeline there. And then now, um, everything that's supposed to show up in this monitor area is already in, contained inside this one sequence. And then now you can just scale and position this one sequence into the monitor area. And you don't have to do this for every, for absolutely every clip that uh, uh, you wanna throw into your um, monitor area, if that makes sense. Um, so now you can just basically, uh, you know, you have your sequence, you just do that once, and then if you need to make a change, you just make a change inside your B-roll sequence um, to remove or add or change the order of, uh, of your graphics and that kind of thing that show in your final piece. Um, all right, so let me, um, let me delete this um, out of our scene here and show you a few other things um, in, in this, uh, in this uh, studio. The, uh, this uh, file right here is um, a version of the studio without the lights and it contains um, the animated monitors still so uh, you can use you could just take a still from this and just use this as the background um, you can use the any of the center and then it goes right and left and then sideways and sideways and so the way that you would do that um, in premiere at least is to uh, go to where the uh, monitor comes all the way down and then slice your clip um, at the uh, at the line there, like that. And then you can delete out the X, you can delete the excess there. And then go one frame 
uh, forward so that the monitor is still down. And then we'll slice again right there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to change the uh, speed and duration of this clip to be as long as you need it to be. So if uh, if you need the um, if you need it to be you know a minute long, then you can change the duration to one minute. Click OK, and then now you've got about a minute of uh, of the still to work with right there. So it comes down, and then it's down like that. Um, another thing is we have the uh, the lights as a uh, isolated looping element and so you can uh, drag those down onto your scene as well and so now we have the uh, the lights uh, you know as an isolated element and since they're isolated that means that you can um, move them dynamically in the scene so if you need to adjust kind of the way they the way they fit into the scene then you can do that you can also uh, crop the uh, left or right uh, lights out of the scene. So like, let's say you wanted to have your talent be in the scene. But maybe you didn't like the way um, the lights looked kind of behind your, uh, your presenter right there. Um, what you could do is you could use, you could come over to your effects window, go to crop, apply a crop to the uh, hanging lights. And then uh, in your effects controls area, you can crop from the right and just crop them out. You can kind of see that right there. And so now you can see that we've got uh, you know a little background, um, person, whatnot, and lights, and uh, everything's somewhat separated out. So you can kind of adjust those as you need. Um, the uh, the final thing that you can um, that you can do to kind of customize this uh, studio um, the way you need it is you can apply a, um, a color correction um, to your uh, to your scene and you can kind of adjust um, you know the the color and the hue and and uh, brightness and contrast of your uh, of your scene to maybe match uh, some branding or uh, other graphics that are maybe showing up in your uh, in your video production and that kind of thing and so you would do that with uh, applying a uh, color correction um, effect to the uh, studio clip and so um, in the effects window, I typed in color. Um, there's a color balance effect, um, HLS, and that's a uh, hue, um, uh, lightness, and saturation there. And, uh, and so you can adjust the hue. It's probably one of the easier ways to adjust some of the colors in the overall scene. And so you go for kind of a, maybe a blue type scene or something like that. And then I can key out, I can still key out the um, screen in our scene there. And then if I bring our talent down, then we can have her on the scene. It kind of looks cool and you can kind of change the colors a little bit. Um, one last thing um, before I go, um, if you have, if you shoot your talent, um, and they're not wearing any kind of logos on their shirts or text or words or anything like that on their shirts, then you have a little bit more freedom to um, uh, change around um, where they are. So in this case, this uh, presenter, you know, kind of puts her arm out to the right or to her right and, uh, and that kind of thing. And, but in this particular scene, we, wanted, we would rather her be on the left since uh, the monitor is coming down on the right right there. And, uh, and the way that you can do that is if you come over to the uh, effects window again and you go to, um, we're going to flip, we're going to use a flip effect um, in the video effects under the transform folder. Um, there's a horizontal flip effect that we can apply to our talent clip and it basically just flips everything um, over horizontally. And so now uh, she is on the correct side for our production. Um, she puts her hand to the correct side and uh, everything looks good. So uh, that's about it. There's uh, you know a number of things that you can do with these backgrounds. Um, like I said, they work with just about any video editor out there. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to visit us. We'll put the uh, link in the uh, description of this video. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it. Bye.